Joining us today, he's a management and finance senior who takes two planes and a train to get to school. From Indiana, Pennsylvania, please welcome Kevin Winters. She's a junior studying English and wants to win big or win small. From Detroit, Michigan, please welcome Carrie McGraw. And here's your host of No Brainer, Sam Iacona. All right, Ty, thank you very much, and welcome to No Brainer. If you tune in every week, I appreciate it, and frankly, I don't understand why. You would want to see me up here on camera every week, but if you do, more power to you. If you've never seen this show before, let's go over some of the rules. Here I have, I don't know why I look at you. Here I have Carrie and I have Kevin. These guys are going to be facing off through two rounds of questioning. If a question is too difficult for a contestant to answer, they may transfer that question over to their opponent by using a brain freeze, which will force their opponent to answer. Now, at the end of two rounds, whoever has the most points will be moving on to the money round where they will have a shot at winning $100. So, with that said, let's meet Carrie, contestant number one. How are you today? I'm great. How are you? I'm very good. I understand you want to be an English teacher. Yes. Okay, what, uh, what made you want to do that? What inspired you? Um, I guess I just had a lot of really important uh, teachers to me that were really important, and um, I wanted to make an impression on another student does. That's good. I'm sure your teachers would appreciate you <laughs> citing them as your inspiration. Yeah. <laughs> good, good. Well, good luck with that. Thank Let's you. Let's go over to Kevin. How are you doing today? Pretty good. I'm doing very good. I know you didn't ask, but I, I figured I'd just tell you anyway. Uh, I understand you want to make a lot of money in your future. I do. You do. Okay. How do you plan on doing that? Uh, I'd like to own my own business, actually. And your, what type of business would you like to own? Whatever makes me money. Anything at all, Anything. just the money, the money making business, something like money that. Money and being boss, that's what. Money I mean. and being, you sound like Mitt Romney now, man, <laughs> something like that. All right, well, good luck with that. Uh, Carrie won the coin toss backstage, you will be going first. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, contestants, please remember in this round, each question is worth 10 points and you each have one brain free. So, with that said, let's begin the first round. All right, Carrie, let's see that first question. What holiday never occurs in April? Is it A, April Fool's Day, B, Easter, C, Earth Day, or D, Mother's Day? I'm gonna go with D, Mother's Day. Okay, how do you, you seem very certain. You and your mom very close? Um, well, really, it's the process of elimination. April Fool's Day is in April, Easter is very soon, it's this weekend, so. Yeah, well, now you just made me look dumb on camera. <laughs> I'm just joking, okay, you said Mother's Day, right? Mm -hmm. Is the answer Mother's Day? Yes, it is. Yay. Congratulations, ten points over to you. Every other holiday wasn't it wasn't April. Let's go over <laughs> to Kevin for her for his first question. Excuse me. Which is a Microsoft operating system? Is it A Windows Vista, B Newton, C Mac OS, or D none of these? Well, I am an MIS major with a computer, so if I didn't know this, it'd be pretty bad. So I'm going to go with A Windows Vista. All right, is the answer Windows Vista? Yes, it is. Great job. The Macs obviously fall under the, the Apple operating system. So you guys both got your first 10 points of the game. Let's go back over to Carrie for her next question. Wimbledon is a major tournament for which sport? Is it A, volleyball, B, tennis, B, baseball, excuse me, C, tennis, or D, curling? Oh, I actually watch Wimbledon, so I know that it is C, tennis. Okay, what made uh, you be a tennis fan then? Uh, yeah, me and my dad used to play all the time, so... Uh, okay, to... is the answer tennis? It. Yes, it is. Great job. Ten points over to you. And we'll go back over to Kevin for his question. Which Major League Baseball team is in the American League? Is it A, Angels, B, Braves, C, Cardinals, or D, Dodgers? Not too big on baseball, but if I had to say, I'd say C, Cardinals. Okay, that makes two of us who aren't too big on baseball. I'm more of a football guy myself. You said uh, Cardinals as your answer, right? Yep. Is the answer Cardinals? Oh, it's Angels. The uh, Cardinals and the rest of those teams on there are actually in the National League. Uh, they, Even the though Angels. there was a difference. Yeah, the only one that was in the uh, American League was the Braves. All right, let's go back over to Carrie for her question. Agatha Christie is most famous for writing which? A, fantasy plays, B, mystery novels, C, how-to books, or D, children's stories? 
Um, I'm actually a big Agatha Christie fan, so I know that she writes mystery novels, so B, mystery novels. My grandmother was a big fan of Agatha Christie, too. <laughs> is the answer mystery novels? Yes, it is, and I believe uh, a series came off of it, too. Murder, she wrote? Yeah. Isn't that one of the, uh, a book and then became a series? Yeah. Right, okay, yeah, my grandmother, the only reason I know that is because of my grandmother. She used to watch it all the time. Mm -hmm. All right, congratulations, another 10 points over to you, and we'll go over to Kevin for his next question. Let's see. What is the prequel? to The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe? Is it A, Prince Caspian, C, or B, The Magician's Nephew, C, The Silver Chair, or D, The Last Battle? Tough one. Um, not a big reader, but pretty sure it's not A, Prince Caspian. I watched the movies, that one came after it. <laughs> um, I would hope it wouldn't be The Last Battle, because that sounds like a, an ending. So I'm going to just take a guess here and go with C, the silver chair. Okay, I'm not a big reader either, so that makes two of us. I'm more, you said you watch the movies? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's what I do. Test on a book, I'll watch, rent a movie for it or something like that. Is the answer the silver chair? Ooh, mm -hmm. no, I'm sorry, it's the magician's nephew. Uh, that means your 10 points will go over to Carrie, and we'll go back over to her for her next question. Which show was never part of the Law and Order family? Was it A, Special Victims Unit, B, Trial by Jury, C, Criminal Intent, or D, Search and Rescue? Mm, I never watched a whole lot of Law and Order. Um, I guess, I know it's not A or C because I've watched those before, so I'll go with B, Trial by Jury. Okay, was Trial by Jury never part of a Law and Order family? Well, I'm sorry, it was actually Search and Rescue. Uh, the original Law and Order started in 1990 and then ended in 2010. Had a 20-year run, 20-season run. Pretty, pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. So your 10 points will go over to Kevin, and we'll go back over to him for his next question. For 42 seasons, All My Children was on which network? Was it A, ABC, B, NBC, C, CBS, or D, IUP TV? I know it's not IUP TV. Oh, that's messed up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, hmm. I guess if I had to go with one, I'd say A, A, B, C. Okay, any particular reasoning behind that, or are you just taking a guess in the dark? I'm just taking a guess in the dark. Okay, is the answer A, B, C? Yes, it is. Great job. Ten points over to you. I think if all, all my children had been on IUP TV, Either more people would watch IUP TV or no one would know what All My Children is. One, of, one of those two, I don't know. Let's go back over to Carrie for her next question. Which state does not border Ohio? Is it A, Indiana, B, Michigan, C, Virginia, or D, Kentucky? Hmm, I have a picture of a map in my head. Um, I'm gonna go with C, Virginia. Okay. You have like a photographic memory or something? Or? Uh, no, I was just trying to think of how the map looks. <laughs> okay. Uh, is the answer Virginia? Yes, it is. Great job. Ten points here for you. And of course, our very own state of Pennsylvania before All right. That sound means it's the end of the first round. Uh, Carrie, you won the first round 60 to 30 over Kevin, but Kevin, not to worry. In the second round, each question is worth 20 points, so you're not even close to being out of this yet. So, you're going to start us off in the second round, but before we do that, let's see what Casey is up to around IUP. Hi, Casey here for No Brainer. I'm outside in the beautiful spring weather in the Oak Grove, and I'm here asking some students some questions. So, what's your name? Uh, Daniel Kushner. And what's your major? Sociology. Alright, that's pretty cool. Um, so, I'm going to ask you a question. Which state does not border, uh, border Ohio? Is it Indiana? Michigan, Virginia, or Kentucky? Uh, Kentucky? No, actually it's Virginia, but that's okay. Uh, okay. I thought it was Kentucky too. <laughs> oh, what's your name? Lindsay Lovert. And what's your major? Social Studies Ed. Oh, that sounds really awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you a couple questions. Okay. Uh, we have, which state does not border, border Ohio? Is it Indiana, Michigan, Virginia, or Kentucky? Um, Virginia. Uh, that's right. I didn't even get that one right the first time. <laughs> All 
All right, guys, welcome back to No Brainer. Thank you for sticking with us. I'm here with Carrie and Kevin. Carrie, you won the first round 60 to 30 over Kevin, but Kevin, that means you're going to be going first in the second. You ready? I Excited? am. Okay. Well, contestants, please remember, in the second round, each question is worth 20 points, which means Kevin, you're only 30 points down. You know, you get your first question right, you could be only 10 points down. Hopefully, she gets some wrong, yada, 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 you get the point, right? Yep. Okay. All right. Well, each question is worth 20 points. You each have another brain freeze. Let's begin the second round. All right, Kevin, let's see that question. Which of the following is not a noble gas? Is it A, helium, B, neon, C, krypton, or D, oxygen? I know that uh, A definitely is a noble gas. And krypton sounds like Superman's planet, so I'm just gonna go with C, krypton. You're gonna go with C, krypton? Yeah. Is the answer krypton? Ooh, Oof. it's actually oxygen, believe it or not. I didn't really pay too much attention in school, but I do remember that, that oxygen was not a noble gas uh, from, from my, I guess it was chemistry, chemistry class. Not to make you feel bad or anything, but your 20 points is gonna be going over to Carrie. I'm gonna go back over to her for her next question. A gastrectomy is the removal of what body part? Is it A, gallbladder, B, groin, C, gland, or D, stomach? Sure. Uh, I guess D stomach maybe. Any any particular reasoning behind that answer, or are you just taking it just a shot? Sounded right, and I wanted to. It just sounded. Guess. I don't think I, this song is fine. I mean, it just sounded right. <laughs> All right, we'll go with stomach. Is the I answer? I have no idea. Is the answer stomach? <laughs> okay. It is. Yeah, you know, what that for? It's funny because. Uh, I actually I didn't know the answer to that one, but I did because I had a lot of people in my family who have had cancer, and uh, that's primarily a cancer procedure mm -hmm. to remove stomach cancer. All right, let's go over to Kevin for his question. So Arthur Conan Doyle wrote what famous character? Was it A, Ebenezer Scrooge, B, Peter Pan, C, Scarlett O'Hara, or D, Sherlock Holmes? Well, again, more like literature, I don't follow that too much. So, uh, I want to say D. Sherlock Holmes. You and me are a lot of life, man. No books, all movies. All right, you said Sherlock Holmes, right? Yep. Is the answer Sherlock Holmes? It is. Great job. Um, Ebenezer Scrooge was Charles Dickens in, in A Christmas Carol. I know you've watched those movies, right? Yeah. The Christmas Carol movies. Seen Jim Carrey just made one, like an animated version. He did. He did. Did you see that one? I didn't. All right, you didn't. Okay. All right, let's go over to uh, Carrie for her next question. I don't know what the point of that conversation was, guys, but I was just, I like movies. All right, the shortening of I-N to I'm is called what? A, contraction, B, shorthand, C, clause, or D, predicate? Uh, English majors, um, so I know this one, A, contraction. This is a perfect question for you, I think, huh? <laughs> Is the answer contraction? It is, great job, another 20 points over to you, and we'll go back to Kevin for his next question. Lake Michigan is connected to what lake? Is it A, Lake Huron, B, Lake Ontario, C, Great Salt Lake, or D, Lake Erie? Apparently not too good at geography either. Um, instead of just guessing, I'm going to use the brain freeze on this one. going to use the brain freeze. Go to brain freeze well. over to the person who has a photographic memory of the map. <laughs> Let's see what Carrie can do with this. I wish I had a photographic memory of the map. Um, Gosh, I'm gonna go with D, like Erie. Okay, any particular reason, or you just take another shot? It seemed to work for you so far. So. <laughs> it's just a guess. Just a guess. Okay. <laughs> Is the answer Erie, Lake Erie? Ooh, it's uh, Lake Huron. They're all they were all Great Lakes except for the Great Salt Lake, and the only Great Lake that wasn't on there was Lake Superior. Mm -hmm. All right, that's 20 points over to Kevin, and we'll go back to him for his next question. In what ocean is the Bermuda Triangle located? Is it A, Pacific, B, Atlantic, C, Indian, or D, Arctic? Don't think it's either the Arctic or the Indian Ocean. I have to go with, well, I'm gonna go with A, Pacific Ocean. A, Pacific, okay. Mm -hmm. Do you like the Bermuda Triangle? Do you like mm -hmm. those stories around there? Not really. Not really, yeah, I don't yeah. like those stories either. <laughs> I'm staying, I'm staying clear of the hair. Is the answer A, Pacific? 
It's and the Atlantic Ocean. Okay, they actually said um, it's not anything supernatural. It's just gas bubbles coming up from the ocean floor that caused the, ship, the ships to sink. Let's go over to Carrie for her question. Geothermal power is energy derived from what? A, the wind, B, the sun, C, the earth, or D, nuclear fission? Hmm. Um, I really don't know, so I am going to use my brain. Okay, yeah, but using your brain freezes. <laughs> I'll do it with Kevin and see what you can do with this. Um, just by the word geothermal, I'm going to take a stab and say it's C, the earth. Okay, is the answer the earth? That's correct for 20 points. Yeah, geothermal energy is uh, it's the heat from the Earth's core that they use to convert to energy. Great job. We'll go over to Carrie for her next question. Mario is to Bowser Koopa as linked is to A, Dr. Wily, B, Ganondorf, C, Lich King, or D, Dalek. Um, yay for playing video games, uh, B. Ganondorf. Wow, you seem real confident with that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, is the answer B. Ganondorf? It is, great job. Ganondorf is the, the final boss that you uh, play against in The Legend of Zelda. Yep. Right? I'm just right, yes, don't play the game, <laughs> that's okay. Great job, 20 points, so let's go over to Kevin for his question. What is the official currency for the Bahamas? Is it A. Bohemian dollar, B. Canadian dollar, C, European Euro, or D, Mexican Peso? Pretty sure it's not B, the Canadian dollar. I hope it's not C, the European Euro. Um, I'm going to go with kind of what I think is the obvious choice with A, the Bohemian dollar. Why is it the obvious choice, man? As, uh, I'm kinda. just joking. <laughs> I'm just joking. Is the answer A, Bohemian dollar? Yes, it is. Great job. They started using Bohemian Dollars around 1965, I believe, mid-1960s. All right, let's go over to Carrie for her question. Which nation does not have UN veto powers? Is it A, United Kingdom, B, France, C, Russia, or D, Japan? Um, oh, I really don't know. I guess I'll go with... A, the United Kingdom. Okay, another shot in the dark for you? Or yeah, yeah, just okay. another guess. <laughs> oh, they've been working out for it. Let's see. Does the United Kingdom not have UN veto powers? They do. Japan doesn't. Sorry about that. So your 20 points would go over to Kevin. Let's go back to him for his next question. Who is the, who is the current head coach of IUP's softball team? Is it A, Jeff Ditch, B, Bill Graham, C, Kurt Signetti, or D, Joe Lombardi? Softball. Um, pretty sure it's not Joe Lombardi. I want to say it's A, Jeff Ditch. Okay, do you, do you watch softball here at IP? Or? Not at all. No, not at all, so you're just guessing? Uh, kind of. Kind of, okay. This is the answer Jeff Ditch. It's Bill Graham, sorry about that. Kurt Signetti is actually the IP football coach, just got hired, and the son of former IP coach Frank Signetti, who was <laughs> here until 2005. All right, so your 20 points will go to Carrie. Carrie, you're in the lead 180 to 130. You can increase that lead with this question. Let's see. <laughs> Which movie character was not played by Johnny Depp? Was it A, Captain Jack Sparrow, B, Edward Scissorhands, C, John Dillinger, or D, Will Turner? Um, well, I guess. I think Will Turner was played by Orlando Bloom in the movies, so I'll go with D. Okay, is the answer Will Turner? You are correct, Will Turner was played by Orlando Bloom. Mm -hmm. Orlando Bloom, Bloom, I can't even say his name, but it's an easy <laughs> word to say, too. Let's go back over to Kevin for his question. Which of the following is not a woodwind instrument? Is it A, flute, B, cornet, C, clarinet, or D, bassoon? Well, I don't know the clarinet is. I'm pretty sure the flute is even though it's not even wood. Um, I'm going to go with D bassoon. Okay. Is the bassoon not a woodwind instrument? It is B, a cornet. I'm sorry, so your 20 points will go over to Carrie. And that sound means it's the end of the second round, which means it's also the end of our game, which means Carrie, you've won. You've won the first two rounds, 220 to 130 over Kevin. 
Kevin, I'm sorry, man. I had a good time with you, though. I did, too. You had fun here? Yeah. Okay. It's good right, you going to show your girlfriend the show and everything and have people watch it? Sure. Sure. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. All right, then you will go home at the end. Uh, Karen, you're going to be joining me in the money round when we come back. Great. But first, let's go back to Casey and see what she's doing around IUP. Okay, and here's another question. Which nation does not have UN veto powers? Is it United Kingdom, France, Russia, or Japan? Um, Japan? Yeah, that's correct. Good job. Okay, here's another question. Which nation does not have UN veto powers? Is it the United Kingdom, France, Russia, or Japan? I'm gonna go with Japan. Oh, that's right too. Great job. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to No Brainer. Thank you so much for sticking with us. I am here with Carrie and the money round. She's going to have a shot today to win $100. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. All right, well, here's how this is going to work. Over here with Charlotte, I have five envelopes, one through five. In each envelope is a card with a written amount of money on the inside. Either $0, $25, $50, $75, or hopefully what you get the $100. Mm -hmm. What you're going to do is pick one card for me to hold on to. I'll keep it for the entire round. And then you're going to eliminate three of the four remaining cards, leaving just the one that I hold and the one that Charlotte has over there. And at that point, you can open up either one, and you'll win the amount of money on the inside. Sound good? Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's get started. Let's begin the money round. All right, Carrie, go ahead and pick a card for me. All right, um, card number four. All right, Charlotte, can I see card four, please? Thank you very much. So I'll hold on to this, and then I'm going to have you pick another card to eliminate. Um, I'll eliminate card number five. Card number five, Charlotte. Sure. Let's see what's inside. $75. Ooh, so a big number off the board right uh -huh. away, but the hundred's still up there. So go ahead and uh, eliminate one more card for me. Um, I'll eliminate card number one. Okay, let's see card one, Charlotte. Sure. Ooh, uh, $100, so two big numbers off the board <laughs> right away. I'm sorry, but that's okay. Uh, 25 and 50 is still up there, mm -hmm. and hopefully you're not going to get to zero, but we'll see how, how it pans out. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and eliminate one more card for me. Okay, I'll eliminate card number three. All right, Charlotte, so let's see card three. Got to hope for the zero. Yeah. Zero. <laughs> 50 dollars. Ooh, okay. <laughs> All right, so you can still win some money. Yeah. $25 is, is a lot for a college student, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, that'll buy you, well, it's not going to get you any books. The books here are really expensive. No. All right. <laughs> Do you want to open up card number four or the one that Charlotte still has over there on the table? Um, I'll open up card number two. Okay, Charlotte, let's swap out these cards real quick. Bring me card two. Thank you very much. Okay, so we're going to keep our fingers crossed. Hopefully it's the, the $25, not the zero, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, let's see what you got. You got the $25, you Yay. made a great decision by swapping out the cards. Congratulations. You know what you're going to use it for? Um, probably food. I need some groceries. <laughs> That's what every college student needs. Good. Well, congratulations. Did you have thank a good time? You. Yes, I did. Well, thank you for coming out. Tell your friends. And for the No Brander cast and crew, I am Sam Iacono, and good night. <laughs>